ובישל כמו המהבטי, שיקרה השדר אגי. Actually, I came due to this institute. What happened is uh, uh, Kali Koron Komoka, late Kali Koron Komoka, had uh, made uh, some request to the French government for funds for the restoring of the institute. And I was sent to India in 1988 to Delegation called Catholic de la Coopération and via UNESCO CCIVS, of which also my husband was a member. So, in the process, living and living here as an in-laws place and as a married woman, I of course became part of this town. This town became part of me. It's to me the little Paris on the Ganges. And I love it very much. And this entire district, Hooghly, little Europe on the Ganges, I love it very much. Not only Chenanaga, I'm very much involved with Chinsura, which was Dutch. I'm extremely involved with Shirampur, which was Danish. Everywhere, I'm a so Jagai party. So I love the entire district. It's very unique. Very, very unique. You don't have anywhere on the planet one territory where so many countries had their settlements. You don't find that. The rest of West Bengal was flooded twice a year for rice cultivation, except District Hooghly. It was a place of fishermen communities. And this is why all the countries settled here because no flooding twice a year and no body cultivation. We have one of those terracotta temples. We have these canals surrounding Chandanagar. Just like we have Kumar Tuli in Calcutta, we have Kumar Para. Chandanagar and Kolkata are the big rivals, very big rivals, big competitors for the making of all these statues and sculptures for the puja. Kumar Para is not less famous than Kumar Tuli. There is Nanda Dulal Mondir where one of the great freedom fighters fled to Rock Heath House, where Lord Clive shot his cannonballs. It's a capital history, Chenanaga, has Biplobic Chenanaga, the center of the revolutionary Chenanaga. 100 freedom fighters were living in Prabortok Ashram, even testing bombs. The river trade was such that the trade connected from Tibet in the north to Indochina, like Vietnam and all that, through all the way through Europe. Even my in-laws, they had 15 ships, import-export. It was a huge connection, I mean, a huge trade route. And Anthony Firingi, you have heard of Anthony Firingi. Actually, he was the, the manager of the salt go-down of my family in-law. So he became famous by singing in my own in-law's house. That shows that time what was the very free culture of Chenanaga. There was nothing like foreigner and Indian. The women, they had no purda. They were mixed, to, mixed with anyone, talk with foreigners, ride horse, swim, climb trees. They did all that. While in the rest of India, often it was very strict, but not Chananaga. This is why many women born in Chananaga refused to marry. If I marry, I marry in Chananaga or Pondicherry, otherwise I don't marry. The first woman to have a master's degree Bengali. He's from Chananaga. It was a very educated place. If you would enter the institute, you would see a lot of paintings, arts and all that. How can people do all that if they are not properly fed? People here were well fed, well clothed, and they had a proper shelter. So the young people did theater, singing, music, painting. While in many parts of India, they were busy scavenging for food.